Welcome back, scholars. Today, the instructional practice that we are going to talk about is called articulatory gestures. Instructional practice. When we think about articulatory gestures, what we are really focusing in on or paying very close attention to is the way that our mouths move as we say certain sounds. So take for instance, the word bat. The first sound that we hear in the word bat is b. Now notice my mouth. B. Did you see how I had to close my lips so that I could say b? Yes. When we say specific sounds, our mouths do a lot of different things. So when we are thinking about articulatory gestures, it's going to be important for you to not only think about what the sound says as you hear it, but pay attention to the moves that your mouth makes as you say those sounds. Sometimes you might hear some little humming in your throat or you might feel a soft breath like when you say for the H like in house. Do you notice that? Our mouth can do so many different things when we are making sounds. So make sure that you are paying very close attention. Thank you for joining me today. As you explore articulatory gestures, make sure that you are paying very close attention to not only the sound that you hear, but also the way that your mouth moves and what you feel in your throat and in your breath as you make those sounds. Happy practicing.